personal. They say that waiting's the hardest part. I haven't, I haven't seen these, right. these rescuers since. The shifting of feet and crossing hands for Dan Sorensen is only natural, given who he's about to see. This is nothing compared to what was going on a few weeks ago. On October 5th, Dan was with his wife and son, cheering on family and friends that were running the St. George Marathon. Dan, an accomplished runner himself, liked to find people in the last leg of the race to cheer on and run with. I usually pick one that's trying to qualify or something and just try to pace him in. That's when his son Oliver noticed he was acting a little strange. And he just went completely limp and just hit the ground. And I was like, whoa. Dan collapsed, taking a hard fall. His heart had stopped and things were dying. But on that day, the paths of several people converged to make sure that wouldn't be his last. Had they not been so quick, right there on the scene, it, it, uh, these guys would have been planning my funeral. These are my rescuers. You look so good. <laughs> How are you? Oh, good to see you, Mike. Yeah. Now, two months later, so this is crazy. This Hi, is Julie, well. right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Reuniting replaces nerves. It's nice to see you not on the ground. You can walk. Yeah, it's, it's good to see you, period. <laughs> With feelings. Oh, God bless you guys. Of joy. It's, uh, it's, we think about you every day. ER nurses Julie Street and Katie Smith, along with Dr. Mike Kenstrom and his wife Stephanie, were running the marathon and happened to be at the right place at the right time. We got down there and there was a volunteer at his head and I think Julie came in there. It was pretty clear that he wasn't breathing well, poor color. We saw he just was, wasn't really breathing much. I was doing CPR. It really felt like you were supposed to be there. Like, I trust, God trusts you, like, to be here and to help this man. Now, now down near Dan and started to pray. We didn't want to leave until we knew he was moved on to the next medical professional. The trio of medical professionals had never worked together or even met, but in that moment, they were a team. Dan wasn't supposed to die that day. Dan uh, wasn't going to die that day. CPR was performed by them for 19 minutes before he was rushed to St. George Regional Hospital. After a quadruple bypass, two hospitals, and many tough days, his recovery is going well. So whether it was fate or circumstance, it's an incredible story that Dan gets to tell because of the actions of those ready to drop it all to save a life. All right. Coming from the, the man on the side of the road, <laughs> um, to know that those good Samaritans were <laughs> just willing to pass on, on their goals that day to... Uh, to go directly to somebody in need. To me, it's a real reflection of, of the divine spark in, in our fellow beings, you know. There you go. Cool, thank you.